Hey folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to add Firebase to your Flutterflow project. So I'll start by creating a Flutterflow project, Firebase test. Okay, so let's go to Firebase and get started. So we'll create a project. And create. Okay, so now that we've created our project, the first thing we need to do is give Flutterflow access. So we'll go to the Users and Permissions tab and add member Firebase at Flutterflow.io and set the role to Editor. And one more thing you'll have to do to allow Flutterflow to deploy cloud functions for you is go to Advanced Permission Settings, Make sure you have the right project selected. Look at Firebase at Flutterflow.io and add two more roles, which are the Cloud Functions Admin and the Service Account User roles. And this one you may have to scroll down for. And press Save. Perfect. Now, the next step is to configure Firestore. So this is your actual database if you want to use the Firestore database for your project. So go to Create Database. You can start in test mode for the permissions and then choose your location. So whatever makes the most sense for you and hit Enable. One last step in here is if you want to be able to deploy functions, which you will be if you want to do things like enable payments, you'll need to enable billing on the project. And with that, we're done. So the only last step left is to take this project ID and add it here in the Firebase tab in Flutterflow. You copy paste and link project. And with that, we're done. You've successfully created a Firebase project and linked it to Flutterflow. Thanks, and see you next time.